It's the last day of egg week. I'm a little sad, I have to admit. But you know what will pull me out of it? A cocktail. We're having a BLT, bourbon, lemon, and tonic. Trust me, I just made it for the boys. Steve, how is it? Oh, I haven't tasted it yet. I'm oh, sorry. It's amazing, it's Sam. Really good. Thank you, boys in the back. It's Thank amazing. you. Amazing. Thank you, Len. My new favorite, actually. That's what I like to hear. So bourbon, tonic, I'm making it backwards. But you get what I'm you get where I'm going with this, right? And then just a big hunk of lemon. Squeeze, put inside, drop it in your drink, take a sip, meet me at the table. They almost didn't make it. Before we start, can I just say that Sean, even after 50 episodes, just called Lucky a girl? He did not. <laughs> Weak did, songs. Do you know how that bad <laughs> is for his self esteem? <laughs> well, watch your love, Steve. Oh, sorry. It's all good. What's up, everybody? We're Wait, here. That's the couch, I think. No. What are we doing? Oh, it's Kelly's doing something. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's no mic for Kelly. Okay, I'll get it. I'll take oh, it. Geez. We'll get it. Wow. We're a disaster. The wheels are off the bus at episode 51. Yeah, we just, we pulled it all off for 50 and then we were like, ah. Dang. Last night was fun. It was, it was a lot And of by fun. the way, I'm using these tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out. I think somebody guessed. They're a little bit bizarre looking, but we're going to use them. I have a, put, took a picture of them on my phone. They look like army helmets. Turtle shells. Don't they look like army helmets? I don't know. Yeah, they do. For very small Germans. <laughs> okay, are we good with the mics, guys? <laughs> yeah, we're good. All right, sweet. That's is verboten. That's all I know. <clears throat> Did you watch any Sopranos last night, Steve? No, I didn't. You got to get into it, man. I know. Max bought the uh, full series, all seven seasons in uh, Canada at a blockbuster going out of business, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He paid a bucket. What was it? Seven bucks a series? Six. Seven bucks a year, yeah. six bucks a year. So we've got them all. We're all excited about it. And we've been watching. We just finished first uh, four shows or something. And uh, Okay, I got to do this. First, right off the bat, you have that picture that I took? Oh, man, it just got to my seat. I wanted to say how excited I am for Boardwalk Empire. All right. Okay, never mind. Go ahead Sorry, I it. thought that related to Sopranos. Never mind. Wait, <laughs> Sam? Yeah? You emailed it to me, right? Yeah. Are you sure? Let's find out. Is your name Lynn? Uh, yeah. Last time I checked. Check your junk. Let me junk. just take a look. Yeah, check, check my junk. What is it that you're looking for? I sent that picture. She I told me to send it to you. Probably should have. I see nothing in my inbox, man. Come on, man. Don't, don't do this to me. No. Sorry, dude. This is bad TV when I start doing this crap. <laughs> so then just move on. <laughs> I, don't, I, want, I want to encourage people to do this picture. What if you just full screen on your iPhone? And have Steve zoom straight in on it. All right. Mm. No, I'm coming out there to get his phone, and I'll figure it yeah. out. What are you going to do? <laughs> Move on. But Talk here's the problem is, wait, the problem is, Max, I'm going to send it to you, Max, okay? <laughs> the problem is you can't send from, you're going to send it, it's not, no, it, you cannot send it from all of my email addresses. They don't work. Here you go. You can, I, I'm sending it to you, all right? It's all fine now. Wow. There you go. We're good. We're good. Hey, Kelly's kind of in the dark over there. Can we get some light on her? Okay. We don't have light. Oh, she's good. She's fine. We don't she? have light for her. She's fine. That's the look that she normally gets. Okay, can I go to this? While we're trying to figure out the picture, let me go to this. I covered this last night. <laughs> the most awesome knife ever. The Guy Fieri knife. The Guy Fieri knuckle sandwich series, five and a half inch Santoku chopper knife. With the crisscross neural end. Uh, to pulverize garlic, nuts, etc. And remember, uh, this knife meets his high expectations as a chef and also offers quality value and a look that's the real deal. The real deal. It's off the hook. Oh, wait, maybe we should do a reset. People are saying that there's some issues. Oh, no. What kind of issues? What does that mean? If we reset, what happens? No, it just means that we, broadca we cut the broadcast for one second and then it goes back. Yeah, do it one. Just do it, Sean. Cool. Just keep going. We're all good. Sorry. 
So <laughs> what I didn't realize was inside the box was a user guide. Mm -hmm. Or Steve, if you can get a close up of this. User guy. Oh. No way. Uh, and it can, no it way. It gets worse. It I gets worse. It, it get absolutely worse. gets worse. And underneath, look at it. You Not just a user guide, but one that you will want to keep. <laughs> You'll want to keep. And if I can just read from a little bit of this. Really? He talks about meeting the people at the, the Ergo people whose other knife I've been using that I really like some years ago. He says, I got together with my crew, spelled with a K. Yes, because that's exactly how you spell crew. And it's called, a, and called a typo, right? Ergo Chef. We sketched a ton of knife designs looking for the one that really rocked. Keeping to my hot rod roots and doing the job right. <laughs> what is By that having mean? high quality performance parts for, this pro for the project, these knives were no different. So dig it. Mm. My knives blend the best materials with the rockin' design. So who are these marketed towards? I don't Snipe. know. Rock and rollers, Lynn, obviously, man. <laughs> oh, sorry, I totally missed that one. Thanks for buying a knuckle sandwich series knife. You now own a true piece of history. Oh, wait, did I miss something here? A <laughs> true piece of history. Why is this a true piece of history? So uh, like a piece of the moon rock, that's a piece of history, <laughs> right? <laughs> a little fur off of a blinken's pipe hat that would be a piece of history i don't know am i missing something is this a true piece of history you are definitely missing something uh you now want a true piece of history as it's always been on my radar to make a knife that says game on <laughs> this real deal knife was designed by me guy fieri in a collaborative effort well, wait a minute if it's designed by you, it's designed by you. It's not designed by you in a collaborative effort with a couple, wait, oh God. Designed by me, Guy Fieri, in a collaborative effort with a couple cool cats. Oh, Is it spelled a K? Oh man. No, those are C's now. Oh, okay. Well. I hope you dig this blade as much as I do. Now go slice and dice something that's off the hook. Jeez. Hmm. Now, before you think, you know, it is consistent with his mannerisms. I mean, yeah. Before you I think, yeah, you can give him that. He's consistent. <laughs> but just let me say, before you think, I'm jealous of his success. I am. <laughs> of course, I would love to be that successful. But I feel like it, this this rock and roll thing is forced in the whole. And maybe I don't know. Maybe somebody come up, call me up, and go, "Hey, man, like you don't know the real dude, like." This is him. It's how he talks, dude. You just don't That's have a hot rod background. I don't. To have, maybe I don't get it. Maybe if I had like a '57 Impala lifted, I might get it. I thought they drop it. No? Whatever they do. Yeah, they drop it. <laughs> <laughs> what neighborhood you're in. <laughs> That's true. All right, that's enough. Time. All right, so you want us to go to this picture? Yeah, go to the picture, okay? Gonna, so wait. this is this sorry, picture is it. a view out my kitchen window. It's a good view. Uh, you see the, the area we sit in under the gazebo. You see my grill back there. Oh, look what your neighbor's doing. No, just kidding. <laughs> you see uh, Kelly's artwork behind the grill, her large uh, metal sculpture piece of work. It's beautiful. You mm. see the vertical garden, the vertical earth garden. That's the view outside my window. I want to see the view outside your window. And yeah. please and take a picture. And I'm going to choose one and send you a t shirt. Yeah. Oh, you are? Good. Put the response. No, we, no, we can all choose so, one. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want people writing going, dude, my, my thing was cool. Why didn't you choose me? Mm. <laughs> oh, and also post it with your city and state, please. All right. We can do that. I'm sure they can do that. So start sending. We want to see the view outside your kitchen window. Mm. Yeah, the view and if it's dark, kitchen. it's dark. Send that too. We don't care. Yeah, true. Texas prison officials say they're stopping special last meals for condemned inmates facing execution. After an elaborate request from a convicted killer in a notorious dragging death prompted complaints from a prominent state senator. <laughs> what did he ask for? <laughs> Uh, State Senator John Moore told prison officials uh, he wanted the ridiculous and inappropriate practice 
ended or he'd seek a state statute banning the last meal of choice. Whitmire's ire was raised by the final meal request from Lawrence Russell Brewer, who was executed Wednesday night for his role in the death of James Byrd Jr. I've I'll, never understood how you could eat. Uh, wait, among other items, Brewer's re Brewer requested two chicken fried steaks, a triple cheeseburger, a pound of barbecue, and a pint of ice cream. See, he's just messing around. <laughs> That's exactly right. I think he's oh, messing man. around. <laughs> Last week, Stephen Woods requested request included two pounds of bacon, a large four meat pizza, four fried chicken breasts, two drinks, each of Mountain Dew, Pepsi, root beer, and sweet tea, two pints of ice cream, five chicken fried steaks, two hamburgers with bacon, <laughs> fries, and a dozen garlic breadsticks, and marinara sauce on the side. Two hours later, he was executed. Can I just say, I think the guards are the ones actually put in the order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a couple strippers while and you're at it. <laughs> Apparently, some states have a limit. Some states have a limit on the amount of money that will be spent on the last meal. Mm. Some states say it has to come from within a few miles of there, so there's no crazy running around at the last minute. <laughs> Historical references to a condemned person's last meal go, far, go as far back as ancient Greece, Rome, and China. Some of it apparently rooted in superstition about meals warding off possible haunting by condemned people once they're put to death. Oh, interesting. Feed them well, they will not come back and walk the halls of the prison and shake chains and go, ooh. <laughs> well, that's what they do. I've seen, what's that movie called? Ghosts? Oh. <laughs> the Christmas movie. Christmas movie, yeah. You know? The uh, mm -hmm. Christmas Carol? Christmas Carol. Yeah, with that's the, the ghosts. Ooh. With rattling chains. I don't have any chains to. Ebenezer, Ebenezer Scrooge? Ebenezer. 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 <laughs> Ebenezer. Let's go to our first window. Oh, please. Already? True on? fan, Sandy Carlos I'm from Poway, California. Oh, we got a couple. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not her. That's, that's not her. <laughs> the yeah. one below. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Sandy, thank you for sending that in. She says it's fun. She doesn't have a kitchen window, but this is a view out her glass door, which we'll accept. Oh, absolutely accept. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't have a, kitchen, a, a window in your kitchen, then the closest window we will accept. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You won't want a t-shirt, but... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, this is, wait, go to North Carolina. Go to Gary Kurtz. Below, Sandy. Down, uh, right there. North Carolina. This is in North Carolina. You said if it was dark, they could send it. Absolutely. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm telling you, that's worthy of a t-shirt. That that's really that's beautiful t -shirt. art. That's fantastic. That beautiful art. I'm going to hang that up in my wall. That right? is fantastic. Framing right, Gary, is great. Gary, you get a t-shirt just because you were the first East Coaster to post. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember a couple weeks ago we had camp, we had a problem with one of our Panasonic cameras, right? Yeah. Yeah. Steve, what was it doing? It was uh, zooming in on its own. Right, which is inconvenient. It's kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky. Is. Perhaps we need to feed somebody a better last meal before we execute them in this house. But uh, we had to send it in, and so I called Panasonic, and through about fourteen, you know prompts i finally got to where i had to send the camera and it was like in texas or something huh. so then i continued and i found a place in uh northern california oh. closer i sent it to northern california i get a phone call from them the other day this just points out how crazy the world is sometimes i get a phone call from them the other day saying you know what we actually only fix panasonic cameras that are out of warranty we can't fix them in warranty wait, that wait, has to go to me? another place in los angeles <laughs> what i was gonna say because that's the place where i took it in how los crazy angeles. is that right that's funny it's that's funny, really right? crazy. and i'm only following panasonic's Order. you send here do this right i'm doing what i'm supposed to be doing so the lady's very nice and i said you know I have to pay now again? I felt it was weird. Mm -hmm. I had to pay in the first case to send a broken camera, three months old, still in warranty, to get it fixed. But we had to get it fixed, so I sent it. So now she goes, no, no. She goes, I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to send it on for you, uh, and we'll take care of the fee. Mm. That was very cool. That's very cool, Justin. It was two days ago. I get a phone call today from those people. They said, we don't fix this model camera. Oh. We have to send it to another place. They should have it tomorrow. That poor oh. camera, man, getting tossed around. What the, can you believe it? 
<laughs> and did they make you pay for the shipping? No, it, it was just a voicemail. Oh, Watch, okay. we're gonna get it back, and it's not gonna be fixed. It's gonna be a different. Camera. It's gonna be a different camera. Right? <laughs> it's gonna have a sticker from every country. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be, be VHS. Remember the VHS tapes that you slid <laughs> into camera? Back. Can you imagine if we got one of those? That'd be awesome. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta go to a couple Facebook comments. Mm -hmm. First, um, Candice wrote, "I see poach pods. Please, oh please, tell me you're poaching eggs tonight." That's what she poach thinks pods? these are? Poach pods? Poach yeah, pods. Yeah, that's pods. what they are. Thank you, Max, for, for trying to lead people on a little bit more. But yes, oh, okay. it is an actual poach pod. She's right. Right there on the butt of it. You, there's no way to see that. And Steve's not really working. Yeah, I can so. do it. Does it actually say poach pod? It actually though? says poach pod. Oh, right I there. didn't know that. There you go. How cool oh, is that? Nice wow. work, Steve. You were on that. That's awesome. Sharp eye. I don't know what these holes are for. Um... Oh, wait, probably, to, uh, actually, I don't know either. Yeah. But they're silicone. They're silicone, so, you know, stuff really doesn't stick to them. There is the other, I'll talk about the poaching thing. Are you ready for I'm a cheat uh, poacher. view from I'm your a, kitchen? I'm a cheat poacher, that's what I am. Yes. Are you ready for view from your kitchen number two? Yeah. All right, Megan Core in Oceanside, California. Oh, hey now. Nice. Yeah, Look at that. That's, that's, nice. Nice. that's a cool porch. Did she just go clean up out there? Or does it <laughs> look like that? Probably. Hey, what behind the bar, what's that, go back to that for a second. Uh -huh. Behind the bar, what is that? It looks like the back of an espresso machine or pizza. What is that? Oh, microwave. I'm going to guess microwave. Wait, Outside no. like that? Why no. would it be underneath? Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know. Megan. Sure. Megan, what know. is that? I see a, uh, uh, an Aloha license. Hawaii. Is that a, uh, an actual California Aloha? What no, state is no, 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 that? That's Hawaii. That's Hawaii? With the rainbow, yeah. That's a real Aloha? No. No. I don't think so. I think that it's a souvenir. Be real. Probably not, yeah. That's, do you see the fire pit back there? Oh, it's not up anymore, but there's a cool fire pit. We want to know what that metal thing is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Metal wait, thing. wait. I want to go to this cool one that Nanette Kirsting just posted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that she wouldn't just be messing with us. I don't know if I believe this. Picture, but this is awesome if it is in her window. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bambi. I think she's messing with us. I don't but that's think so. Cute. It's upstate New York. She says this is a pic from the other day. Oh, from the other day? Yeah. In upstate New York. I that's how cool we are at the Sam Livecast. We have deer watching us, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Just oh. give me a 12 gauge. <laughs> oh, Wait, oh, can I just say, oh. I am a Jewish male from Canada. I would no sooner shoot a deer than I would shoot one of my kids. That was an absolute joke. I would never, ever do that. I have shot guns once in my life. Uh, when I worked at the biotech company, we had a bunch of Danes in from Denmark, right? I want to hear this story. And so I was in charge of, of you know, entertaining them and the meals and having fun. And somebody, the president said, I think they would like to go to a shooting range. I said, why would you say that? Because people that come here think that that's what we do and they would like to go. So I'm just following orders. I arranged to take four of these guys, three of our guys and me to a shooting range. We were in, in Carlsbad, so this was like in San Marcos or someplace like that. Mm -hmm. So I range it. We've got like eight spots all lined up or four, and we did two shifts. I don't remember now. I blocked it out of my head. <laughs> then you get guns, and you that get bad, the huh? headphone things, and you stand there in the target, and the pieces of paper <laughs> get whizzed down to the other end, and they tell you what to do, and you bring it, and you do this, and, whoosh, and you shoot. You didn't hit the target at all. I <laughs> fucking hated it every second oh, of it. It's fun. I did not like the idea that I was shooting a gun. I did not like the idea that there were potentially unstable people <laughs> two or three feet on either side of me shooting guns. It was hot or I got started to get hot. I, I, it was a very uncomfortable period. I got a couple shots off and then played the good host and said, oh, uh, Eric with a K or Hans, come in here and you shoot now. Um, Welcome to America. <laughs> Oh my God, that was probably a trip for those Danes coming and doing They loved that. it. They honestly, they loved it. I did not love it and I've not done it since and I won't go. I have no reason to go. So by the way, I'm not shooting deers out anybody's way. <laughs> hey, the thing in Megan's backyard yeah. is a microwave. Yeah, I was right. Interesting. I mm. wanted her to lie to me. I wanted it to be sexier. <laughs> I wanted it to be like a shave ice machine or something like that. <laughs> well, Donnie, Donnie felt like he uh, was going to bullshit us. He, <laughs> he sent us a picture of his backyard. <laughs> Yeah. Come right. on, Donnie. Now, come on. 
cool okay, view. Okay, moving on. Oh, wait. Can we look at <laughs> Wendy Jean real quick? She took a panorama. Picture yeah. of her. Is that legit? Hey, yeah, I, I just got that app. This little tower back here looks like something from uh, 4S. I just got that app oh, called yeah. uh, Dermander. Dermander, it's 99 cents. You have it? Is it like the one of those sweet The panorama, panorama app. Nice. You take pictures like this. That's take cool. one right now of the studio. Oh, check yeah. this out. Okay, here. Oh, man. Oh, boy. No, no, no. I can do there this. There goes 15 minutes of the show. Oh, <laughs> so, Max. Yes. Do start reading. Do the Remember the Alton Brown thing? Oh, yeah. The Fanifesto. Fanifesto. Okay. Hey, Lynn's yeah. got it on his computer. Um, let me... I'll... Pr I'll a preview it a little bit it is alton brown has been having some issues with fans on the still. road apparently and so he released a small guide or i guess a little bit of a guide uh to how they should interact with him and lynn can you give us some of the key pointers um yeah i actually did read it and basically he says that for most part fans are really cool but sometimes they're not <laughs> <laughs> so he's okay so sam yeah he's <laughs> he's busy. <laughs> he's really busy. So Alden talks about um, when people come up and take pictures of his family. Like he said, he will go berserk. That's like what is. What, what, what was his he doesn't name? like pictures of his family being taken. Yeah, he says like, I'm famous, but they're not. Mm -hmm. And so he says, like you know, he will sign autographs even if he's with his family, like and he's spending time with them, but he won't like tolerate anybody taking pictures. He's is quote unquote, I will go freaking ballistic. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. No hugging, but it'll stay at the book signing until the last person in the line has gotten a book signed. Which you do that, right, Dad? Yeah, I'll stay as long as, as long as there's people there. I feel like people come wait in line for me. I can, I can take the time to stay and, and, and wait for everybody. Because if it's not for them, then, then I got nothing. Now, people not buying books, not coming out, it doesn't matter. Then why should I, you know, why should I be there? There's no point for me to be anymore. But check this out. He won't let people take pictures of him with a cell phone. Oh, yeah, because... <laughs> he doesn't oh, wait, want shitty what? shots. I've got a summary of some of his things, so listen. <laughs> By the way, I've had pictures taken of me with very professional cameras where I look like a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the <laughs> instrument is. I don't think it's is. about how he looks. I think it's what about... It? He doesn't about want a grainy... Fum no, it's about people fumbling with their phones, not knowing how to oh, do it properly. Oh, no, yeah, it's... He, he says, it takes too long. Yeah, he doesn't want pictures with the cell phones because sometimes it takes a while to get to the app, and then uh -huh. you have to take the picture, and it takes forever. Yeah. Uh, I don't so here's, some of the, here's a summary of some of them. Don't ask him to talk to someone on the phone or star in a shout-out video for a friend who's not there. <laughs> oh, I've done that. That's I don't know how many that? times have I've done that? that. Have you done Why that? Why is that so bad? Probably because he gets it. I mean, he gets it a lot. I can't, you know what? He's at a different level. How about this one? No, asking, no asking for hugs. He doesn't like to spread his or your germs. <laughs> I'll hug. I don't care. Oh, listen to this, Dad. This is anti-you. He won't sign live things, body parts, or pets. <laughs> you will gladly says, sign body I signed, parts. I signed a baby, a, like a one-and-a-half-year-old's arm once. And the lady came up and said, will you sign the little girl's arm? And I said, that's funny. And she goes, no. Her brother said, will you get Susie's arm signed? And I said, sure. <laughs> I like it. Interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, if he's in the restroom and you want to talk to him, wait for him to come out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, that's understandable. You know what? I was that's in. So I was in um, Donovan's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Donovan's at the urinal <laughs> uh -oh. about a year ago, uh -huh. and a guy comes and he stands beside me, <laughs> and he's clearly had the benefit. Uh oh, clearly had the benefit of a couple of drinks, right? So he's doing that like that little waiver thing, and he doesn't want to leave. He turns and he goes, "Hey!" I'm like, "Hey!" He goes, "He does one of these." He's like pointing, and I'm I'm waiting for the. I know who you are, and he points. Steve, can you come stand beside me? Is he is he, is he peeing on you at this point? <laughs> Wait, he's peeing. I'm peeing, and he does this. Hey, and I'm like, hey, and he does this, and he goes, I have that shirt. <laughs> Wait, stay here. And I go, yeah, and he goes, I'm Banana Republic. <laughs> and I go, I, I, I don't know, man. He goes like this. <laughs> no, the dude reaches oh, over to look at the label in my shirt. No. I was like this. Oh, no, you are not reaching and grabbing my shirt standing right here taking a leak, man. Terrible. And he realized, I think, the inappropriateness of the moment. 
That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> awful. It was oh, awful. So funny. Yeah. Hey, this is a unique window. We yeah, this, this is really cool. I really hope this is right now because they offer Wi-Fi on planes. Yeah. That's super cool. He said he's slingboxing wow. and watching you at home. So we know he's not watching me, but that's no, no, a cool No, no, he said he's shot. watching. He's using slingbox. Yeah, it says love Wi-Fi in my slingbox. You could do that on the plane right now? Apparently. Yeah, so he's got a <laughs> slingbox hooked okay, up I tell to you what. Sling, and then he broadcasts it to his wife, to tell his computer. You what. If he's legitimately watching right now. From a plane. From a plane. I'll send him a copy of each one of my, fi- of my cookbooks. Whoa. Whoa. Is it a he? Mark Griffin, yep. Yeah, okay. I just tried if, to prove it. If he can do this, if he can write on a piece of paper, hi, Kelly, on a little cocktail airline napkin. <laughs> oh, that's good. And have a flight attendant hold it up. Oh, okay. my God, that's amazing if he pulls that off. If he off. can pull that off, every one of my books, and a t-shirt. Whoa, this could be your biggest prize yet. I don't know. And that's Kelly will a- cook for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, forget hey, that, hey, I take hey. that back. I made a great dinner. Kelly made a great dinner the other night. Kelly made her own pesto. With the fresh basil? Oh, she yeah. did. Yeah. She, she did, and she, she made an amazing dinner. pasta. Thank you, thank you. I'm getting hungry now. Good thing Steve <clears throat> brought over those <laughs> sandwiches from a very famous fast food joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say it. So Fine, we ate McDonald's before the live cast. <laughs> Wait, can you clarify? I did not eat McDonald's so before the Steve live cast. Steve brought... A McDouble. <laughs> and get Duffin. this. It's yeah, I Zach, saved one. It's because Zach, Zach turned me on to it. Yeah, because Zach... So get this. Inside is Big Mac sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So genius. So good. You order Zach. So Zach's rationale is this. If you go and you order a double... Double... Cheeseburger. McDouble. It's how much? $2. Two dollars. Right. Two dollars. Then you get an extra piece of cheese. Why can't I can't make my mic? There we go. Uh, so you order a double cheeseburger. It's two bucks, and you get an extra piece of cheese. You order McDouble, and how much is it? Ninety-nine cents. Ninety-nine cents, and then you say McDouble with Mac sauce. sauce. I'm not a McDonald's fan, but I have to say that was pretty damn good. So good, really. That's good. pretty good, yeah. So good that Blue Steel went for a McDonald's <laughs> run at twenty <laughs> after five. <laughs> And he was back in almost 14 minutes. Yeah, that's that pretty fast. good time, man. That was pretty good time. It was good. I broke some laws. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you broke some laws. Okay, wait. My buddy Donnie sent us a picture of his backyard from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Oh, there I it is. S- What's nice. the thing in the front? It's a... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, let me guess. Wait, what is it? It's a, uh, it's it's a candy dish. A candy no, dish? Huh? Looks like a keg. oil bottle. You see the oil top? No, I just see a round. It looks, it looks like cut glass with a like round ball like on it the does, top. Yeah. It looks like a reach-in candy dish about this deep. Hmm. All right, Donnie, tell us what it is. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Send us a picture and we guess what's in your backyard. <laughs> Send blurry pictures of your body parts and we'll see if <laughs> no. we can guess what body <laughs> part it is. Okay, wait, this one, this is awesome too. Sandy just did one, sent a really cool picture and I believe it. Oh, wait, no, she's lying. Never mind. <laughs> Should we even show this? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, this is not. We don't oh, need to show. That was God. awful. Oh, there goes our clean rating. Oh, wait, no, we never. By the way, yeah, it's just clean awful. Rating. Did you watch the X Factor yesterday? Yeah. That one guy that got up and. Oh, dropped his pants? Oh, that was awful. Wait, how about the guy at the end? Oh, I didn't see the whole thing. No, there was one guy. You watched the X Factor? I just saw part of it. You did? Just part of it? I was just curious. What'd you think? It's just like American Idol. It is. Check out. Here's the difference. American Idol, uh, sponsored no by sponsored by Ford and Coke. <laughs> this one's Pepsi. This is uh, X Factor is Pepsi and uh, Chevy. No Chevy. way, really? American Idol, one million dollar prize. X Factor, five million dollar prize. Five million dollar production. Production, right. yeah. Right? Co- Was uh, it the same as okay. record contract? Record contract. Yeah. 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 Um, Simon Cowell, uh, Paula Abdul. And Randy, Randy Jackson, Jackson like. used to be. Now they got <laughs> a guy that looks. Now they like got L.A. Reid that looks like a hipper, thinner Randy Jackson. Yeah. They got. Uh, sorry to generalize. They got another bold black guy <laughs> with cool glasses. <laughs> we yeah. all do look alike to you, don't we? No. No. Uh, no. I'm sorry. That's no, just they a, look alike. that's just a little too close. <laughs> But uh, L.A. Reid's kind of, and, and a similar background. They're both like producers of, of some decent names. 
But they added some hotness. Oh, they added uh, <laughs> Nicole Scherzinger. <laughs> Scherzinger? <laughs> so we were all about her last name. <laughs> Until she starts to talk. Yeah. So, she's not and then right. loses it. Okay, can we go to a picture in Indian yep. Land, South Carolina? In where land? Indian Land, South Carolina. The comment says, not the kitchen window, how about the kitchen door? And this is Greg Metz, <laughs> and he wants you to say hi to his wife, MK. MK. What up, MK? Let's get a picture. Do we believe this? Let's get a picture of MK in front of the ice cold beer thing. <laughs> She's racking for a lot. We need, wait, everybody. <laughs> has Mr. Airline written back yet? Not yet. Mm, that's wait, right. Yeah. Oh, Addy's calling us out saying that we had McDee's yesterday after the show, too. No, Addy, that was Zach. That was God. Zach. <laughs> that's when he turned us on. Zach, there. but here, you got to appreciate the fact, Addy. He's a 17 year old boy who's six, what are you, six two and a hundred and what? 75 pounds. Yeah, I can dunk. Yeah, Blake and asked me if you could dunk. And, I told him yes. And he can dunk. Oh. But the kid's at the age where he could eat <laughs> everything. 75 McDoubles with Mac sauce. And apart from having a sore stomach, that wouldn't make any difference to his weight. Nope. So can I. Might help a little bit. Watch that rapper well. on the mic. Link. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to get that. I feel like taking okay, a Okay, wait, Sean, right go now. to Facebook real quick. Yeah. Kathy Hayes says yeah. that I think Kelly should cook on the show one day. Oh. I agree. Oh. I agree. Oh. You think I'll you bring, can hang, I'll Mom? I'll bring my lunch that day. You think you can... <laughs> oh, oh, Joe! You think so? I love your cooking. <laughs> Steve, we go way back. That was oh, a joke. No, that's why it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I love her cooking. I love your salad dressing. Oh. That's my favorite. Kelly's Stop a great... It. Kelly's a great... <laughs> Kelly... Say, I have every... Zach's okay, mad at me. If you say I make a great salad, <laughs> I will knock you. I said... I was starting to say Kelly is a great... <laughs> cook you're she a great is. cook kelly did all the cook i i told this on on live cast number one when mm. i started a cooking show that's when i started cooking the only thing i did up to that point was grill and it wasn't even grilling it was just burning burning i burned my food brought it inside kelly was polite enough not to call me out for burning it and she would eat it oh it wasn't until i started a cooking show that i cooked up to that point kelly did all the cooking Despite the fact that when we first got married, this is interesting, when we were dating, and you know, you date a couple of times and you like each other, you start to like each other, and then you get a little more serious, then you start asking those questions that you sort of want answers to. What do you feel about kids, and what is this, and what religion, how do you feel, and all those things. And one day the question came out, you know, do, I'm just curious, do you cook? <laughs> Kelly goes, yes, I cook a lot. And she was completely 100% lying to me. Her mother said, if you meet a guy who ever says, can you cook? You say yes, and I'll teach you after. Don't worry about it. Uh, Kelly, we've been married 26 years. Kelly is an amazing cook. She just doesn't do it anymore because I happen to be the one that likes to do it most. You're holding like a golden shovel right now. Thank you. Like, oh, I see. Digging a hole? No, digging yourself out of. Oh, that. out of a hole. Thank oh, you. Nice. I, I I mean that. Thank you, honey. You're welcome, baby. What's for dinner tomorrow night? <laughs> uh, all righty. Uh, can we show that Gordon Ramsay commercial? Sure. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay is doing some commercials for Kmart. And when I first heard he was doing commercials for Kmart, I expected them to be really stupid and really dumb. But. And guess what? No, you thought I was going to say they are. I like this. I think it's funny. Here we go. Hello, Frank. <laughs> right, back on and let the wrist do the work. Good. Relaxing shoulders. You look too tense. There you go. Much better. Oh, show me that. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, mean tools. <laughs> That's cute. You know what I like? I like the guy. And I say it all the time. I don't think casting directors get enough credit. Yeah. The writers get the credit, the 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 directors, the people that shoot the commercials and the guy that think them up. But the casting directors, you can take all the good stuff and put a crappy actor in there, the wrong actor, it's not the same thing. That guy was good. I like that. I gotta cook something, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. You guys, did you see the Greg Metz? Hang on. No, not in yet. there. Okay. Yes. All Sorry. over the place today. Greg Metz. <laughs> we got like, we MK and fresh brewed beer. Right. Yeah. 
What? What's up, MK? We Let's got see it. it. Let's see. Oh, oh there nice. You go. We What's have up, somebody. There we go. Look us. at that. Now that's legit. That's worthy. That is uh, not an outside window, but it's a door with taps on it. Are those real taps? Uh, they, she's holding a beer. I'm going to assume it's real. Wow. Okay. That's worthy, Max. Am I right? That is worthy. And you know what? Uh, she had the... Uh, the. And they're in South Carolina. Wait a minute. I was going to say she had the balls to you know, take a picture because sometimes people don't like to. But that's not the right term for a female. No. What do you say? She uh, has she's got the confidence. Girls, yeah. do you have the... What do you say? You can still say ballsy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Zach says, Kelly's yeah. not. Kelly? I'm sorry. <laughs> what, is there, he hates us. Do girls have an expression? No. Amongst it's yourselves. Okay, moving you say, on. Lucy's got the labia to... <laughs> oh. No. That's not what you guys okay, say? Stop. No. I'm the nads. I'm just stop you guys the right nads? Now. Stop. Yeah. Sam, you always go too far. Yeah, like I said God. stop like a million times. Okay, before we go cook, I have right. a funny. I got a funny Paula Dean video. We can either save it for Monday or we can do it before we cook. I say we save it. Okay. We need right. to change the subject. We might not have anything for. I can cook. Executive decision. We'll save it for Monday. Really? Yeah. All right. I feel really bad about that comment now. Yeah. You're in the dog. It wasn't that bad. It's not a dirty word or anything like that. No, you're, you're right. I'm just trying to, I was, honestly, I was merely trying to find something that approximate, approximated the general region of both. And we had. Okay, stop. We've got some suggestions <laughs> from Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Are you ready? Yeah. Lydia Martin says it should say the jugs. <laughs> She's got the jug. To do it. Okay. That sounds, that sounds okay, Addie, yeah. Addie says we use balls just like you do. Brent Cabrera says chutzpah. No. Oh, I thought it was pronounced chutzpah. Do you think you saw us do that episode of the Bachman chutzpah? Yeah. Oh, Jugs God. is good, chutzpah. Lydia. Thank you. Oh, and Donnie says that's pretty bad, Sam. Yeah. But look what it did. It spurred on some conversation. It got <laughs> yeah. us all talking. That's and really, silver lining right there. That's what I do. Oh. I'm just here to bring people together. <laughs> All right. One awkward moment at a time. <laughs> All right, are you ready to make the mad dash to the kitchen? I'm ready. Yeah. Please, can we? Can we st lengthen this? Steve? Here, here, do this. Stand, start like standing up right now and walk over, and then we'll do it as you do that, okay? All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're no, gonna we're doing the over intro. Here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we're going to walk over here. Don't start the music yet. And we're going to... Um, run it. I'm going to cook something, and we're going to have a good run time. Run it, John, run it. <laughs> There's no, there's no easy way out of this. What, was, was that too quick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it was too quick. Here's the other knife that's made by the people that make the Guy Fieri one. I'll give them a shout out because I like it. It's called an Ergo Chef. I've been using it a lot today. I shot a show today. Uh, everything, not everything, but inspired by the stuff in the uh, Vertical Earth Garden. I did a chicken, a salmon, I made these little rosemary biscuits with bisquick that were fantastic. Hey, so someone on Facebook actually asked, how do you make one of those? But you don't. How do you make what? The Vertical Earth Garden. You get it from someone here. Uh, right. Yeah, it comes from uh, verticalearthgardens.com. Verticalearthgarden.com here in San Diego. I don't know that other people make them. I think it's a pretty unique thing. So I don't think it's I'm in other cities. to find city. the website. So. I was having a really good look at it. And I've determined that by the time you figured out how to do it and started buying the pieces and putting them together and doing the plants and figuring out what the nutritional aspects and needs of the water are and doing the whole thing. You just call the guys up and make it. That's the easiest thing to do. All right, so here's what we're making. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> really? All right, kid, I'm a little, oh, uh, we're making uh, Eggs Benedict, but with a little twist. Shit, I better start this. Hold on. I have to make hollandaise sauce first. You're gonna find, you'll see the twist in a second. I use package hollandaise sauce. I use Knorr. I add a little extra lemon juice to it. It's delicious. I just never remember how to do this. With sauce mist, cup of milk. That's what we need. <laughs> cup of milk. Cup of milk, cup of milk. Okay. No, no, hang on, you'll see there's butter involved. But I gotta get this part happening first because the rest of it goes actually kinda quick. So, little heat here, cup of milk. Ah, oh, this is the frenetic part of the show. 
the part that it's 16 half millimeters centimeters pints cups there we go one cup so a cup of milk goes in the dish get rid of that whoa sorry question yes from Sean and Courtney Goins, who, which is so cute, they share a Facebook profile. By the way, and don't forget, Egg Week was inspired by the Goins. They, it's yeah, an egg it's Exactly. It's so here's the question. Do you use kosher salt when cooking any type of egg? Scrambled, omelet, etc. I only use kosher salt. I don't have any other kind of salt in the house. Wait, let me take that back. I have sea salt. I rarely use it. I only use it for very special kind of presentation kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, my kosher salt, which is right here, uh, I use all the time for, it doesn't matter what the eggs are. What the steak is, what the chicken is, what the fish is. Uh, if I'm baking something and I need a salt, that's what I use. It's that simple. Kosher salt, baby. Salt, the salt of our people. <laughs> and think about it, with the last name of Goins, how many jokes have they had made about them in their life? And they share, they <laughs> Hey, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait. Lydia Martin says that. By the way, my mother is going to do the vertical earth garden because of you. Oh, nice. She's really going to like it. Yeah, by the way, cool. by the way, do the uh, baby fairy tale eggplants. They get about that big. They're really, really adorable, but delicious, and it's a cool size. Okay, so the North Swiss sauce is exactly that. You're just mixing uh, the powder with the milk, and when it starts to uh, thicken up a little bit. We're going to add a quarter cup of butter. I guess I could probably do that. This is going, I got to get my eggs out. We're not making traditional eggs Benedict. We're not using ham. We're using crab. It's going to be great. You're going to like this. Yes. Steve's going to like I this. I love modifying traditional dishes. Like yeah, I think Benedict. that's the, that's the cool part of an eggs Benedict. You can put anything in. If you go to the website, cookingguy.com, you'll find uh, something called a manedict which is a very male-oriented version of an Eggs Benedict. <laughs> yeah, and instead is. of an English muffin, it's a bagel. And instead of ham, it's sliced steak with an egg. And instead of hollandaise sauce, it's gra uh, gravy with a little horseradish in it. It's really good. It's really, really good. But this one is like a California, so I don't really know even what to call this. Uh, so I'm going to have this. Oh, we got something fun to do, too. Hey, do you want to know what the holes are in the poached cups? Yes. Addy says that she just read that, um, therefore, when you put them in the dishwasher, you can attach them so they don't fly all over the place. Oh, you know what? That makes perfect sense yeah. because they're so, I didn't even bring them. They're so damn light. I can see that. Okay, here's what I'm using. I'm using this pasteurized crab that comes in these big cans. This I got from a place here called Restaurant Depot that's a very restaurant-oriented kind of wholesale kind of place. Uh, you also get a similar style from Costco, but, but look at how beautiful this crab is. I think this tin's about 11, 12 bucks for a pound of crab. And the crab, look it, is gorgeous. For something like this, oh. Yeah, sweet, that's awesome. You wouldn't expect... Sweet, delicious, amazing. You wouldn't expect it to be great, but it, but it definitely is. No, and I have to say that the you can go to your supermarket and in the same aisle that you buy those little tins of tuna, you can buy a little tin of crab, but it's crappy. It's crap. It's not crab. This, the pasteurized type, is has to be refrigerated. This is the one you want. Unless you're going to go to the store and buy... $25 a pound regular crab. You can do that. I mean, knock yourself out. I'm just saying, you do it that way, it's really expensive. This stuff has a shelf life, I mean, at least in the refrigerator, of a long time, and um, you'll be glad that you've got it. Just throw one in the fridge, and at some point between now and you know the middle of the next year, you're gonna wanna use it, and you take it out on a weekend and you do something like this. So I need to put a quarter cup of butter in, which is you know half one of these sticks. So break it a little bit. These will go in. Boom, boom, boom. It'll start to melt. All we're going to do is add a little lemon juice to that, and that one's done. The water's boiling. Let me give that a second. Uh, I said a little more lemon juice. I had some lemon here. Right? So I'll squeeze some extra lemon juice into this thing. Look at that. Something right there prepared, ready to go. <laughs> I, I was expecting you to go digging through the fridge. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I got it. 
And I'm going to use two things on the bottom. I'm going to grill them on here. One of them is going to be an English muffin, which is traditional. And the other one is an idea that Max brought back from Edmonton, Canada a week ago. He had Eggs Benedict of some description out in a restaurant. One of the best I've ever had. And here's what it is. got to go in this room, Steve. Excuse me for one sec. Do you want me to say what it is? Uh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, as he brings it out, it was, as a, instead of, look at that. Go to that shot, Sean. Instead of an English muffin, it was cornbread as the base, Canadian bacon, um, a poached egg, obviously, and then uh, bechamel sauce instead of hollandaise. It was great. But so here's what I did. I bought a package cornbread mix and I split it between two pans because I knew I wouldn't want it to be too thick. So that's exactly what I got. I got it about the size of like a thick English muffin or something. That would be perfect. So I'm going to cut a circle out of this somehow and I'm going to heat it up. I got this going. My sauce is almost ready. Beautiful. These things are going to be amazing. And look how fast it goes together. This is on. So now I want to take these guys. Here's the hard part of this. The army hats. I got to take the army hats. Part of my fingers. What did they, what were, did somebody call them at the beginning? Poach pockets or something? Uh, Poach pouches? Poach pods. Poach pods, that's it. Okay, so I'm buttering the inside of this because clearly I don't want the egg to stick. A poached egg cooked perfectly, but one that doesn't come out of the container is not worth anything. So you got to make sure, you got to butter it well, you want to make sure that it comes out. And then you want to make sure when you crack your egg in, that you don't break the yolk. Nice. If you break the, uh, if you break the yolk, screw it, start again. Just throw the thing out or scramble the egg for another use. Oh but yeah, I mean the point of eggs bent, or for me at least, the point of it is the runny yolk. That's exactly right. All right, so this is good. These are ready. The water's boiling. So here's what we're going to do. We take these guys. Ah, oh, shit. There's a little piece of... <laughs> There's a little piece of Mom, show in there. Mom, do you eat Eggs Benedict? No. Nope. Mm, not your thing? <laughs> what, are you surprised? You go, by I the way... I, I, no, I mean, I guess I kind of expected it, but I'm curious no, why. She, doesn't eat, she eats egg salad. I like my eggs cold. She eats egg salad and that's it when it comes to eggs. Uh, to get shell out of a cracked uh, egg situation, use another shell that attracts it. Okay? So these guys are now just going to be taken and gently set down. And look at they just float. They're like at one of those river raft parks. The lazy river. It's a lazy river for an egg. But then you put a lid on. That's not going to take very long, folks. That's going to take a couple of minutes, so we're going to watch it because we don't want to overdo the uh, we don't want to overdo the cooking. At the same time, I've got to get a I've got to get a piece of. Can we hop over to Facebook while you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do whatever you okay, want. Two Blake Puente out. comments first. Yes. That's fucking genius. In quotes, my buddy Mike, first time watching. Second one, we call them testicle helmets, Max. <laughs> that's, that's what it was. <laughs> it was a testicle helmet. All right, so check this out. So the English muffin, this side, needs a little butter. We're just doing an experiment. We're trying to. Wait, did you cut out a circular piece of the Yeah, did you see that? That's I did amazing. It with they didn't do that when I had it in Canada. Yeah, well, we got it down here. And like I said, it, the cornbread was like two inches thick, so that looks like it's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get these on the heat, right? Because I want, I want some color on those. I, a, they have to be heated up, but B, I want some color on them. Shit, I got to cut avocado. F, I forgot to say there's avocado in this. Crap, I got real trouble right here in River City. And I, want, I said I want to do something. Now I don't have time! <laughs> Damn it. Avocado. Just By the way, these avocados today pissed me off. Three for five dollars? What the hell? And they better be perfect inside. That's perfect. But you know what? I had to go through a stack this big to find a couple of them that were ripe. I don't know why the supermarket has such a hard damn time keeping a few freaking ripe avocados around. Like, you know, most people go in and they buy an avocado because they want to cook something with it. They don't want to use it a week and a half from now. What's going on here? 
You know, up in Canada, they like don't even have Canada. avocados. They don't. They don't have avocados. They don't. Yeah, I mean, it's not something you can just go and buy. Something's happening here. Half this avocado. Piece of shit. <laughs> that stupid. Ah. Really? Sam? Okay. Another Facebook comment. Come on. You remember MK, who we were saying what up to earlier? Yes. Her name is Mary Kay. And hey, Mary Kay. She goes, this is MK in Indian Land, South Carolina. Thanks for my 15 seconds of fame. It was fun. Well, you just got another 10, MK. I can't concentrate on MK yeah, right no, now. You're These me right avocados now. suck! You realize that you're in a whole thing and people are watching you and they expect to hear you talk. <laughs> I, I don't have time for that. You not... <laughs> Do you not see what's happening in here? Blake says this episode is an instant live curse. This is just... Sandy wants you to get your medication. <laughs> Fast. It's not... Okay, you, you know what? That's a beauty. No, it's not as soft oh, as I want. Do you hear me? Positive reinforcement? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah. No, okay. Do you hear me? Wait, my ear thing fell out. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Now I probably effed up the eggs. Oh, God. God. Look out. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Man. Shit, and these things. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, that's a little brown. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It'll be on the downside. We're fine. Shit. <laughs> Uh, this well, good. I no, think another minute. Another minute. Oh, yeah. nice. People like that you're a real person. Back to Facebook real quick. You know what? Keith, Lee, get... Keith Lee, who I've never even seen, he says, I love Sam even more now since he loses it just like I do. <sighs> you know, it, it, it bugs me because I want this stuff to work and then you go all this trouble to buy freaking avocados that are right in the store and they're not ripe and that thing was half effing ripe. Part of it would come out, the other part wouldn't come out and that pissed me off. But look what I bought. Check this out. Do you know what this is? It's a bigger avocado. This is a <laughs> low-cal avocado. Can you see that, Stephen? That's like that? a grapefruit. I have you no kidding? idea. Sure We're going to open this. Football? We're going to open this bitch up and see what's going on inside. Because <laughs> you know what? If you do this, you can hear the nut moving around. In you there. know what I sense coming soon? What yes. You said. Avocado week. <laughs> yeah. Avo avocado, avocado week. week. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We got the eggs. We're done. I've probably overcooked them. I'm pissed off now. <laughs> Life as we know it is over. Some are darker. Okay, look. Where'd that thing go? Here we go. So we got this. Right? We got this. We've got this. I don't know how this is going to work out, Max. This was an experiment. This was because I love you. I know. It was my idea. <sighs> what's, the, what's the deal here? Oh, God. Those what eggs am, better work. Or what am I trying dead. to do? No, uh, yeah, we're going to have a full meltdown if they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. Okay, look, I got avocado on the bottom. We're all right with this. So far, so far, so good, right? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Your mom's crazy. No. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> and she's watching. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, Nana. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, the crab. Who did the... Oh, it's right. <laughs> okay, watch. Watch, crab on top. I don't know about real, but he's real crazy. Okay, look at it. Oh. Nice, little, nice little mound of crab. Oh my god. Oh my god. Something very big just happened on Facebook. Oh, please tell me it's not Guy Fieri calling to bitch me out oh my. about um, his knives. No, you're screwed. Oh. Okay. You're can you hold you it? Are, you're actually screwed. Can and you, I'm not. Se hold can, can, we, uh, can I finish this? <laughs> please, can I finish this? <laughs> okay, finish I don't finish care it. if it's no, going down it, bad. I don't really first. care. Finish it first, then we'll go to this. I'm the only one in the kitchen with him right now, and I'm really nervous. <laughs> Let's uh, leave him alone. Okay. Poached egg, right? Well, the fact that nobody's talking in that back room. Oh, is no, because something amazing just happened. And okay. You're killing me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do I, do I look like I care? Oh. Wait. And Candace says she's impressed. You didn't even need the poach pod lifter sold separately. I didn't even know there was one. <laughs> okay, ready? The hollandaise. Yeah. Boom, over the top. Oh, right, wow. so we've got the, on this side, we've got the corn bread deal going on down there, Maxie, right? Yes. So with this side, we've got the English muffin, then we've got the avocado. I like to put a little extra of the hollandaise in the middle because you know you always want to go back to that mm -hmm. and scoop some of it up. But wait, don't stop there. Instead of putting pepper on, when I make this, I use Old Bay seasoning. Mm. Oh, because wow. Old Bay adds that 
that seafoody kind of deal that's so amazing. All right, come over here, Steve, where it's nice and clean. I'm going to take a bite, and then whatever has happened, and then we'll talk about Guy Fieri. It's nothing to do with Guy Fieri. Writing in. <laughs> so let's see if the uh, let's see if my eggs are okay. We'll break. Wow. Nice. Look at that. Right. Oh. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, God, you scarred. I really want to swear. I want to say, that's what I'm talking about, motherfucker. But I'm scared of what you're talking about. Might be something real bad about I'm me swearing. I'm so excited something. to show you this. Okay, wait. I got Everybody. some crab. I got the cornmeal thing. Doesn't really stick together, Maxi, quite like as amazing as I want it to, but. <laughs> How is it? Oh, fuck. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> So good, huh? The crab, the avocado. Don't forget this. All right, I'm gonna have another bite. Just go to it, man. Now what? Now go. We got. Now I'm good. Okay. You, wait. You gotta look at the TV. Are you ready? Okay. Well, let me have one. No, more. No, I want to see your eyes up on the TV before you before we do this. You ready? Yeah. No, no, he did. Oh, no, did you die? that's fake. Are you kidding? That's Is it fake? fake? That's fake. Yeah. No, he did. No. Kidding? He wrote it with a child in his mouth. Oh, damn it. No stewardess is that hot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, they're not airbrush. stewardess, they're flight attendants. Okay, so okay, let's. Okay, wait. Wait, That's Max, fake. let's end on Jason Kelch. Wait, is it That's fake? Really it's, cute. Come on, guys. Am I the only one that. It's fake. Has any experience in graphic design? Okay, wait. can I say it's something? It's, defi <laughs> it's definitely worth something, though. That was a lot of work for that. Jason, two minutes ago, I think that's what we should end on. Okay, God, give me a second. I'm like working two computers <laughs> back here. Jesus. Sorry. Wow, Sam, that looks really good. You uh, did yourself on that. Look at it. That's amazing. I don't care about you guys, Steve. Do you want to bite? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I have to hook him up. Because, you know, he doesn't, he has a hard job. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Mom, did you say Jason Kalchik? Yeah, two minutes ago. Okay, here he is. Sean. Uh, with the avocado freak out and the whole labia comment episode, maybe this episode should be called Sam's Bean a Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you get a camera on me? I like it when I feed Steve. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Dude. Oh, wow. Is that good or what? Mm. That's crazy good. Wow. I didn't do anything that you couldn't do yourselves, right? Poached eggs in the pod. I didn't do the drop them in the boiling water and the swirl, swirl thing. Whenever I try that, they break apart and they're ugly. Mm. English muffins. You can buy the canned crab. I'll be making these for the boys and the girl. No, the, oh, we forgot the girl doesn't eat it. So I'll be making these for these guys right now. It's the end of egg week. I'm a little sad. It was a great week. I could have done two egg weeks. In fact, we'll do another egg week at some point in the future. No, we're going to do more than every All right. week. Remember what we want you to do. We want you to go to Donovan's Steak uh, and Chop House, Donovan's Prime Seafood. We want you to go to Fixtures Living here in Costa Mesa. There's one in Rancho Mirage if you're out there. And we want you to tell your friends about the live cast. Go to iTunes, subscribe, download, leave comments, write your congressman and say, we, we don't care what you're doing in Washington. <laughs> Watch the Sam live cast. That's all that matters. Hell right? Yes. Have an excellent weekend. You guys are great for being there. I love everybody. See ya.